guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some do's and don'ts that I learned on a recent trip through Italy and Spain. And the first don't is do not book an early morning flight if you do not plan to take a cab. I didn't realize that the trains did not run all night in Spain and I was forced to spend 50 euros just to get to the airport for a 19 euro flight. So it sucked a little. Stay tuned. I am waiting for my cab. I was literally a zombie by the time I got to the airport and I was pleasantly surprised to see that you just had to scan your passport and your ticket and go through a turnstile to get to the other side. It was kind of cool. Taking this bus from the airport to the city center, and I'll leave the walk to my hotel. I'll take a cab from the so I didn't get a ticket because the bus left. The cab driver came over speaking only Italian, but I knew what he said. So when people raised their hand, I was like, Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Like, who text you? Which it is, thank God. Okay, so he dropped us off at a train station, which is good, because I need to take this train to Florence and Venice. I'll tell you a 15 minute walk. Okay. Okay, I don't get when I got to my hotel, I was exhausted. The only thing I could think about was getting into bed, but it was only 9 a.m. and we all know check-ins are usually after 12. But luckily, it worked out. Rooms. But then she checked and bam. All right, you know, you gotta put your key in the hand, you're up to get power. Okay. Okay, okay. Rome's getting better by the country. I was beyond exhausted, and all I wanted to do was go to sleep. Not to mention that I didn't follow my own rules and did not use a Ziploc bag. And look at this mess I had to clean up before taking a nap. That was probably one of the best naps I've had. I only had one issue. It was 2.12. I was just waking up. And most restaurants shut down at 3 p.m. at the end of lunch and didn't reopen till dinner. I had this huge map that the hotel gave me. And I had no idea where to go for lunch. Oh, looking like my taxi. Hello. Thank you. The cops didn't stop me, but now I see this sign, and I don't think I can go in because my legs are exposed. Hmm. Let me let me sneak this video. I'm not paying no damn two dollars for nothing. I mean, I feel bad not obeying the rules in churches, but um, we ain't gonna talk about it. I have to double check, but I'm pretty sure that when you're in Bologna, like, you have tortellini with cheese and spinach. So, let's see. Oh, it's almost four o'clock here. What does that mean? Restaurants are closing. So now I have to go to another area that has restaurants. That's the All right, I found the restaurant. Nothing. 
That's an English. Like, I can't even make it out. It's a candy. So the people who brought to me were telling the waitress that they've been to this restaurant three times in the last six years. This lasagna is so good. I don't even give a fuck about it now. I'm like, oh yeah, this is what I'm here for. As you can tell, they had real architectural issues. So many of that building's lean. <laughs> Churches today and prayed in each one. I mean, I guess this is the sidewalk. Just gotta keep your eye out for cars. But walking back from the city center, the walk back wasn't that bad, but I did stop at like 13 stores. So. My first night in Bologna was definitely one of the earliest nights I've had in a long time. But click the link down below in the bio down below and check out the full list of do's and don'ts that I learned and excuse me while I film myself till next time